when a person comes to me and says, well, what is ethnomusicology and how do I find out about it? I often recommend that they look at a couple of nice textbooks that have already been written because they're, they're written by people who are fairly thoughtful about it. And, and there's one by Kay Chalamet on soundscapes in which she doesn't identify music with the region but actually talks about how music is shared and used in different societies. Um, sometimes I recommend them to some books by Bruno Nettle, who's perhaps the most famous ethnomusicologist today. He's written more books, I think, than most of us. And he has written a number of textbooks on sort of ethnomusicology. And there's, there's a nice one on 31 essays and issues in ethnomusicology, I think it's called. Um, sometimes if they say, well, what's it like to study the music of another place? I recommend my own book, which is called Why Suya Sing. And um, it has a CD in the back. I have a DVD that I hope will go in the back of the next edition, which I think gives you an idea of what it's like to go to a place where music isn't a commodity and how music is used in really rather different ways for different things because it's not used to make a living. It's used to do something very profound for the society and has nothing to do with fun in the sense of it's, it's, it's music isn't something that's, that's sort of... Um, optional. It's something that everybody does, and they do it for certain reasons. That's why I sometimes recommend an ethnography like that of a, of a really different kind of music. And if they want to learn about the music industry, why well, there, there are a bunch of really good books um, on that. I often recommend Passman's book on, on the music business, and uh, because he, he's, some people write better than others, and, and I find that students can actually relate to people who write with a certain sort of sardonic tone, and Passman does, and I I think I'll be recommending them to your to your website because there's a whole lot of information there. Um, I think the the exciting thing about now is that most of them who are interested will already find your website even before they come to see me. But when they do, and I often point people in different directions, different kinds of sources. There are some books, there are some audio resources, and there are some great things on the web that already can can help them think about these things.